Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Opinion Machine, the show where we talk about all things gaming. My name is Killjoy, and today we're going to be doing my final Super Smash Bros. Ultimate character prediction. It's kind of weird that we've gotten to the end of this, but, you know, we, we it's next week we're going to be finding out uh, the last Smash character, the last DLC character, that's going to be turning up in the game. And so I thought, well, what better way to... Uh, you know, round up by doing my final character predictions video. Now I'm going to go over some first party stuff and some third party stuff. This is just some ideas I've had off the top of my head. This is not every character that's been talked about. These are just ones I think have a chance or, you know, came to me earlier when making a, a, a short-ish list. I've split them between first party and third party. And uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna go through it and I'm just going to be honest. I, I think... Straight up, I think the final Smash character is going to be a first party character. They might decide to go out on a bang, but I'm going in with very tempered expectations. Simply because you've got to think some of the big characters we've had, you know, Steve and Sephiroth and, I mean, obviously Banjo, you know, probably the biggest characters, uh, hero for a lot of people. For me, like Terry and, uh, you know, uh, Hero were a lot of fun, Banjo was a lot of fun. We've had a lot of good characters in this DLC um, pack and ranging from various different types of stuff. Pyro and Mifra were a lot of fun as well. But I do think we, now that they're winding down, we're going to be fine, you know, hitting uh, a bit of maybe a low point. Like the, the Smash DLC never really finishes on a high point, so that's why I think I've got a, a first party character is much more likely. But I'll go through my. Um, first party character choices and then I'll go through my third party character choices and I'll, and I'll round up with some stuff at the end so let's start with first party um there's a lot of stuff they can pull from here I think sometimes smash definitely gets used as a marketing tool and I think with breath of the wild 2 coming out you could do something fun with either a character that's in that game or you could do something fun with the champions of uh, Hyrule now I think my the idea here would be you either pick one of the champions and that kind of you know them on a stage and I think you'd probably go with uh, your boat your, your Bosa I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm really bad at the name <laughs> um, I think she is by far the coolest one of the four in the sense of like she's a really cool badass woman very powerful has like the power of lightning a big old sword I mean admittedly it is another sword user but you could do some fun things with the lightning I guess if not her I think you would just uh, or Rivali would be the other one because people love him too. But if not, I think you do like a Pokemon trainer style character where you your down B switches between characters, and I think that would be kind of fun. Like they, you you pick them and you switch between them, and they have different styles of moves. It would be a lot of work, which would explain why if there was something like this in the works, this would be the last character because that's a lot a lot of like moves and things and stuff you'd have to go through. Um. But I think something Zelda related would actually be... I would be 100% okay with that simply because it's uh, it, it needs a new character. We've got three links as so uh, Zelda Sheik and Ganondorf. I mean, I'll take another version of Ganondorf. I fucking love that character. But, you know, they could put do, you know, Giraheim or Zant or there's like, you know, or... Um, uh, oh my god, what's his name? Varty. You know, there's plenty of characters that they can pull from from Zelda. They just haven't. <laughs> so... Uh, it would be kind of nice if they did that. I think the champions were the most likely ones, or Impa, something like that. But uh, yeah, I would totally be down with a uh, with some some new Zelda representation, kind of coincide with Breath of the Wild 2 or whatever it's going to be called. Uh, also, we could potentially get something from Metroid. I'm not really sure who. Um, people would probably get towards Silux being the other bounty hunter that seems to be work for the Galactic Federation. Um, I don't know if there's many anyone they can pull from. A Chozo f dude would be pretty badass. If you could play as like a Chozo warrior, I'd be totally down with that. Like, make him have some really cool abilities and stuff. I think that would really upset a lot of people, but it would make the Metroid fans happy. Um, get a Metroid J Dread stage in there. Get like uh, this Chozo dude, if he's got a name. Shove him in there. Make him like a real fast like character. I mean, uh, yeah, I'd be down for that. Um, more Metroid love. Always good. Other than that, I mean, you've already got Ridley, uh, Samus, and Dark Samus. I think you could only really pull in 
if you wanted to make a miniature version of Creed. <laughs> like I pull another boss character from there. Uh, other than that, it would have to be one of the the bounty hunters from uh, from Metro Prime Hunters. I think it would be the only place you could really grab, unless you made a Galactic Federation trooper. But I think that would also wind up a lot of people, and they wouldn't be very happy. But I could see them doing it. Um, Dixie Kong is a long-standing character that I think a lot of people would love to see in the game, and. Honestly, I would have been totally fine if they'd made an Echo Fighter with just a couple of different moves, but the rest of it the same. Or we'll kind of combined Donkey's and Diddy's moves and stuff, but like, yeah, I do feel like she, she's been a little bit shafted and should probably likely be in the game. Um, or, I mean, you could probably pull one of the other Kongs, uh, to be honest. You could put, like, Funky in the game. It's like an echo and stuff, but I don't think I think unfortunately uh, the Sakurai and his team and, and Nintendo weren't that interested in doing many echo fighters, and that is a shame because they could have done a lot of cool things with that. But it is what it is. But Dixie Kong, I think, is is one of those. That I'd be totally, I'd be super happy get a new Donkey Kong stage with her, no problem. Um, I mean, the thing to bear in mind with a lot of these characters is likelihood is them getting new spirits and stuff like that because Donkey Kong is already a, a represented. Um, you know, many stages and characters in the in the uh, game already, so it's unlikely going to be Dixie Kong, but I'd be totally fine with it. Someone who probably is more likely is Bandana Waddle D. We've got a new Kirby game coming out. Uh, we've recently just been announced, and you know, while it's not a character I really care about, I could see that happening. You know, grabbing a stage, kind of like what they did with Yoshi's Woolly World, where they grabbed a stage from a game that wasn't out yet. They could do that with this new Kirby game, Chuck in. But Bandana Waddle D is the, you know, because he's the fourth playable character in most of these Kirby games, and you've got yourself a brand new character with a spear, new fighting style, a new stage, and a bunch of new music, and you could probably pull some music from the new game as well. So there's potential there for him. A character that I wouldn't be interested in, but a character I could see them doing. Uh, and the last two, I guess, are like one's really, really out there, and the other one is very obvious. I, we'll start with the obvious one being Waluigi. I kind of what I what I kind of want them to do is at this uh, final direct is to show off two characters and I, I kind of want Waluigi just to be an Echo Fighter of Wario. I know there's a lot of issues there with him being more lanky and stuff like that, but I think if you just show him as a bonus character, you're like, hey, we find we did listen to the fans. We know you want him. Here he is as an Echo Fighter of Wario. He could do most of the same moves. He might look a bit weird doing it but you could get away with that you'd have some unique animations obviously but i think waluigi like I, I think he should be in the game um you know i'm not trying to not trying to uh get on the fact that there was a lot of people being real dicks when they were trying to harassing them and stuff for it but i think he's a character that would be a lot of fun i think he would be really really silly but i think he makes more sense as a bonus fighter um because i can't see them doing much with him outside of making him a a um Echo Fighter of Wario, honestly. But I would love him to be in there. I think that'd be incredible. Um, if, if they show up, if he shows up at any point in the Final Smash uh, Direct, that'd be really sweet. And my 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 personal like choice for first party, but highly unlikely, but I would I think it would wind up a lot of people, would be some kind of Advance Wars character. You know, whether that's Andy or whether that's Andy, Sammy and Max in a tank or some kind of vehicle from the game. And like you switch between them or something, and they you know they get a little buff. So like, if you play as Max, his attacks do more damage, uh, but they have less range. Or like you play as Sammy, who can like move quicker, or, or like you know, and Andy's kind of like the all rounder. And I kind of like the fact that that would be really cool to like represent uh, Advance Wars in some way in the game. And to be honest, I really really want this just because having an Advance Wars stage with all of the incredible music that Advance Wars has. I mean, the up, this new game that's coming out, I mean, it'd be a great way to coincide with it. Um, and this is like pipe dream stuff, but I really, really want, you know, I would love it. You know, I, I didn't expect Advance Wars to get a remake, let alone any of that. So any content that we get, you know, going forward, if that is a Smash character, uh, I will take a Andy Me costume with Andy's Anthem, thanks. I mean, I'd be more than happy with that. Um, I don't know whether they'll do that, but... I think Advance Wars would be it would make me very happy. I think it would upset a lot of people. They'd be like, "Why have you given this last spot away to like this very little game?" But that's the, that's the beauty of it. Like, I I I'm kind of expecting something very out of left field with this announcement. And for me personally, that's like, mm, yeah, I'll take that. I mean, you could shove in someone from F Zero as well if you really wanted to like 
go push the push the boat out, grab another F Zero character, or make up a move set. I'll be down for that. Like, there's a lot of first party Nintendo stuff they could do. I haven't even mentioned like Chibi Robo, Custom Robo, you know, stuff like that, Wave Race. But I just grabbed a few that I think I would love to see, and anything from Zelda, Metroid, um, Donkey Kong, Kirby, Advance Wars, or Waluigi. One, actually, one last. One last idea that I did think, I don't know how they would implement this, maybe more of a mode than it would be a character, but I would be 100% okay if you could play as Master Hand, like a version of Master Hand is like the final character, because like, you know, you can play as Master Hand in the story mode, and that is one of the most fun, spoilers by the way, <laughs> that is one of the most fun levels in the entire game, where you get to literally be Master Hand, and I think Smash could really use a mode where you have like a two player mode, where one of you plays Master Hand, and the other person has to try and defeat you and stuff, and like that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. Um, and I, I honestly would love it if, they, if the final character was just Master Hand, all Master and crazy and stuff. But I, that is very unlikely. I don't think that's going to be happening. But that would be, to me, that would be a really great way to finish it off. I'd be like, yes, you finally get to play as this boss character that's been in every game. I'm like, yes, awesome. Uh, as for third party characters, I don't have that many, I'm just, I've mostly got written down here the ones that I think most people have talked about. Obviously, I th for me personally, I think if you go out of a big bang, and it's not that exciting for a lot of people, but it would make sense, is Master Chief. I think Master Chief has a lot of pulling power there. Uh, it's unlikely that, um, you know, Microsoft are going to have Steve and um, Banjo, but technically, like... <laughs> They're not from. They're not the big. You not. You don't think Microsoft when you think Minecraft and Bandicoot, really. I and mean, obviously they own it, but I don't think that when I think those games. Now, if you put Master Chief in there, that's very much a Microsoft franchise. And like, yeah, it's not to everyone's cup of tea, but I do think that is a character that would. It would look. It'd be one of those things that looks like a mod, kind of like how Steve looks like a mod. But I think that would be super impressive if they did that because I think that would make. Uh, just a lot of sense. I think that's the one third party character that I think could really end on a bang. You're not going to please, like, this is the thing, like, you're not going to please everyone, so you might as well go with the big, one of the biggest names you can get from a rival company that's, or has been a rival company in the past. And then we can have, like, the Halo theme fight along to that, fighting on a Halo or something, like, that would be incredible. Like, that's the cool thing, it's not just the character, it's the music, it's the stage, it's the other things that come along with that. And, uh, yeah, I would, I would be like, oh my god. That'd be super cool, but we, we, we will see. I, I imagine it's going to be a, a Japanese company, honestly, that gets the character in. We got I've got Ryu Hayabusa written down here, the guy from Ninja Gaiden. Again, totally cool. Like, totally cool with this pick, if they go with it. Uh, having someone from Koei Tecmo makes sense. They have a very good working relationship. It's not a bad way to finish off the pass. I think a lot of people were like, who? Uh, but I'm I'm totally cool with it. If they wanted to bring someone, have like a proper ninja character with all like the different abilities and stuff, that'd be pretty fun. We do kind of have Sheik, but Sheik is, feels like quite a weak character. I think Ryu would have a lot more like cool abilities to use from the game. And also pulling mu uh, music from those games, the original games on the NES and stuff would be awesome. I think the one that everyone has been talking about recently is obviously Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I think he would work really well in Smash. I just don't see this happening this time around. I think this is a character that would more likely be in the follow-up to whatever this the next Smash game is. And I think that's a massive get. But I, I honestly just don't see it happening this time around. Um, you know, I obviously could be wrong. But I just don't see Sora. I, uh, to me, it's like when you announce a new Smash game, you have that like one last thing. That's Sora. And people go, holy shit, they actually did it kind of thing. Because this is the problem. Like, where do you go after this game when you've already got like so many like massive announcements and stuff? And that, especially Smash 4 as well. You know, you've got, you've got Solid Snake. You've got Sonic the Hedgehog. Mega Man, Pac-Man. You know, all these iconic characters. So you need to save something for the next one. And likelihood it's going to be a reset of the franchise so Sora's a good a good chance next time but honestly like I would I would very much enjoy having Sora in the game more so for his stage and the music that could potentially come with him though I square are usually very like you know very antsy about the music obviously I wouldn't expect any of the Disney stuff to be in there but yeah there's a lot of cool music from 
from that game, but I don't know. I feel like Sora's like what you do in the next game. I don't think it's this time. I don't think his time is now. Obviously, Doom Marine, something else that comes up, or Doom Guy, whatever you want to call him. I think he'd be awesome again. Get the music in there. Fight, and fight on a stage with in hell or on the moon or wherever Mars you want to be. Just just having a character like that and people go, oh, no, nah, he's too violent. But he doesn't need to, like... I mean, still rip and tear about being violent. He can have, like, the chainsaw as, like, an attack. It's not like he's going to start cutting people up. He's just going to use it as, like, a sword. Uh, same with the guns. You just make it explosive-based. So, like, you know, if you've got the rocket launcher and you, like, you can rocket jump and stuff with it, you just fire at the ground and an explosion comes out. Just like Snake works, really. Um, you don't need it to be violent at all and people will be like oh maybe that takes away from the character i mean he's still gonna like punch the shit out of people you can punch and kick and stuff like that he's gonna be an aggressive character but again these characters just in my mind just the stages and the music is, is just as important as the character and that's the kind of stuff like i would love to do music in this you know it'd be super fun one character who I do think has got a high chance of being in this uh, soon is the is the hunter from Monster Hunter. Definitely not hype for that at all. Like that is not something I would be interested in. But I could see Sakurai and the team having a lot of fun making that character. We've already got like Raphaelos and stuff in the game already, but I could see that being the final announcement because look at their look at Capcom and Nintendo's relationship when it comes to Monster Hunter, man. Like, yeah, it's pretty good. I, I don't really care. I mean, the character will be fun to play, but, like, the music side of things, the stage, like, it'll be alright. It's not a series known for its music, to be honest. I'm sure there are good pieces of music in it, but it's not really known for it. So, for me, that would be very unhype, but it's definitely probably the most realistic choice I could see being on here. Except for maybe my other choice here at the end, which is Dr. Robotnik. I think a really great way to finish this off would be to bring in Sonic's villain, and I think it would be so cool to have a trailer to either see <coughs> uh, Robotnik and Sonic fighting, or Robotnik fighting Bowser, or Robotnik fighting Mario, and then Bowser fighting Sonic and stuff, like, you could have a really fun trailer with this as an announcement, and I think he would be absolutely perfect, and you've got, there's so many things you could do with him, you can have him in the Egg Hover, you can have him in the Egg Walker, um, you know, you could do so much fun stuff with him, and I honestly would be like, to me, that would be hype. Getting one final villain in the game and being Robotnik, like, one of the most iconic villains. Yes, give me that. Like, I, w I would love that if they did it, and that would be so much fun. And uh, that's that's honestly, like, for me, like, because I, I, I would say Travis Touchdown, but I don't think he's getting in the game. So for me, Robotnik is, like, the final choice where I'm like, you know what, which would really excite me would be Robotnik in you know, and either in his egg floater and, and having a lot of the moves based on the boss fights in the past, or he's in the egg walker from um, Sonic Adventure 2, and that would be pretty sweet. Um, and, and that would that would probably be one of the most hype announcements for me. People say, like, Tails and Knuckles, and yeah, that's fine. Like, I don't have a problem with those characters, but they aren't Robotnik. Like, Robotnik is basically, like, you know, it's like Mario and Bowser, Sonic Robotnik, you know, I can go without the side characters uh, f to full go, just to have the the main character and the villain, and, you know, the, the, probably the best characters and the most interesting characters from Sonic, so the last thing I will say is I know I did a video on it not too long ago, but obviously Sega again, Streets of Rage if Streets of Rage gets a character in there, then we're going to have a fantastic soundtrack being brought over and a fantastic stage so Sega definitely has a lot of things there uh, going for them in terms of franchises and stuff. But yeah, there's my there's my choices. Um, I'm probably wrong on all of this, and that's fine. If I had to pick from the list, I think the one that excites the two that excite me the most are probably Robotnik as a third party character and then or an Advance Wars character because I think Advance Wars would be a great way to help push this game that's coming out. And Robotnik just makes so much sense. Like we've got so many like villains and like just having that one last iconic villain in we had Sephiroth to Cloud we've got Bowser to Mario we've got K. Rool to DK where's where's Robotnik come on I know he'll probably likely be called Eggman in the game which I, I hate that name but Robotnik is you know he um he is is yeah he's just he's the character I would really 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 like to see turn up um uh, when the direct's on, but we'll see. We don't have long to wait, so soon we'll uh, get to see who gets announced and 
honestly, like for me, the only way I'll be disappointed is if it's a Fire Emblem character or Fortnite man, Jonesy. Like I don't care. Uh, everything else should be all right. So, but we'll see. Like I the, like I said, these are my predictions, or these are literally less predictions, and just here's some ideas that like characters and stuff that I want. Um, but if I don't get it, I don't get it. Either or, I'm still looking forward to seeing who finally gets shown off and and how uh, how they play. So yeah, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you very much for watching and listening. As always, if you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more content like this and hit subscribe, feel free, by the way, if you've got your own ideas and thoughts and stuff, shove down uh, in the comments below because there's a likelihood that there are characters I've missed that are really obvious. I just didn't, I just grabbed the few, first few that came to mind. Uh, but feel free to have a discussion down there. And then, uh, yeah, if you want to, the links for Facebook and Twitter are also down in the description as well. And until next video, I will see you then.